Hey YouTube, this is Kiss My Cats 3093 and I haven't made a video for a while because as you can probably tell, um, I had a cold so I still don't feel 100% back to normal but um, I felt good enough to make a video and um, I decided that it was going to be a nail polish review because I am a huge nail polish junkie. So, um, naturally, like, when I'm at Target or Walgreens or Ulta or any beauty store, I'm always checking out the nail polish. And, um, I happen to be at Target, as always, and, um, I picked up this Maybelline Color Show nail polish, and, um, it's in Tenacious Teal, which is $3.30, and, um, they're $2.99, so it's a really, really good price. And I also have had one, um, previously that I liked, which is also Maybelline Color Show in, um, 180, which is crushed candy, and um, again, they're 2.99. They're really, they're they're pretty good quality. Um, like I find that I haven't had the same problem with the pink, cause maybe because it's sparkly. But um, I was wearing the green all of last week, and um, the texture of it when it goes on, it's really gooey, and it was just like oozy, and I had a really hard time like getting it to go on clean, and um. It just didn't, like, I mean, I really like the color, but, um, the, like, formula of the nail polish just, there's something not right with it, so it's really hard to, like, evenly spread on the nail, and it might just be because I have short nails, but, um, nonetheless, I wore this from Saturday to Wednesday without any chips, so, um, for, like, almost a week, that's pretty good quality, and, um, currently on my nails, which are, um, the Nicole by OPI, um, nail polish, and it is in my lifesaver, which I believe is from the Justin Bieber collection a while ago. I happened to pick it up, um, like, last summer, just because I really liked the blue color, and, um, it had a different brush at the time. It was just, like, a nice quality brush. Um, I don't think they make mm -hmm. the Nicole OPI stuff with it anymore, which is weird, because it's a good brush, so I have this and the Maybelline Color Show and Crushed Candy on my nails right now. And, um, I really like these two. And the next thing, oh, and also, just FYI, I always use an OPI top coat as a base coat and a bottom coat when I put on nail polish at all. And, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you was, um, I got this Wet n Wild Fergie nail polish at, um, Walgreens. And I was really excited because I had heard about the collection for a while, but um, I hadn't gotten a chance to try it. And they were buy one, get one half off, so I figured, why the hell not? So I got um, it in Dana and Duchess. And um, I painted my toes in these colors, which I am not going to show you because A, I'm not lifting my feet up. And B, because um, it looks like a drunk person painted my nails because the brushes on these nail polishes are huge. I don't know why they made them so big. Maybe they thought the people who were going to buy them had really, like, wide nails, but, um, the brush is so big. It just, like, did not, it covered way more nail than I have, so it did not work for me, so it was really wide. So, um, as much as I love the colors, they just did not work for me, um, because of the brushes which was disappointing. And then the blue sparkly color, the brush was not as wide, but it was still wide enough that it just did not look good when I painted my toes. Um, so needless to say, I now need to go get a pedicure because my toes look like crap. But, um, I wanted to share with you these nail polish reviews and, um, let me know what you think about the Fergie brush size and the, um, Maybelline color show quality because I'm curious to see how other people do with these products. So I'm hopefully going to put up new videos every Sunday. This video is definitely not going to get posted today. Today's Sunday, but I don't really feel that great. So I'm actually going to go to bed because it's after 11. But um, I just wanted to share those nail polish reviews and um, I will post videos soon.